What is up everybody? It is your boy Fry and today we're going to be looking at how to um basically we're going to be sending um our main vocal which is dry to an effects channel so that we can you know get a more three-dimensional you know fat sounding and just more fun vocal so let's firstly listen to the example we have over here just so you can get an idea of where we are and then we'll break it down goth boy pulling up in a minivan goth girl in the club pulling on my hand Say that you love me so you don't have to lie Say that you hate me so I don't have to try 1400 bitch and we pull up with them bands Say that you love me but you don't understand Shooter got a clip and is hanging out his pants Pull up in the forest and we smoking on some plants So there you go, cool, 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 lots of fun, lots of fun. So I hope you did listen while I was, um, this is the little peep red recording template for those who, you know, interested in upping their production quality. Um, and yeah, pretty much what we're doing here is we are sending our vocals to effects channels, right? Now these are effects sends, aux sends, uh, generally in FL they kind of over here. I just hate that they all the way over there, so I prefer to make them myself. Um, right over here you can do that um, how you like. So yeah. Pretty much what we're doing here is, um, so we'll go for the, hmm, what are we going to go for first? Is the main vocal, so obviously, um, I actually just keep it all as overall. So basically what we're doing is we, the most important ones are reverb always because they create a sense of depth. And then we're doing a bit of detuning, or not really detuning, this is actually, oh wow, this is actually just saturation boost. So this is actually wrong, saturation, let's just call that saturation body right because it's creating a bit of a sense of body in the top end um but the slap delay we will talk about there are many different um effects you can use on the slap i would recommend going and watching any videos on slap delays but yeah let's first firstly start off with the reverb now you know as i said why do we want the reverb we want to create a sense of depth so if i play the song again and then mute the reverb and mute all the reverbs because our main vocal actually has a bit of reverb onto it which i hate how people do this but you know, in the right circumstance, you can do it. So we'll mute that and we'll mute this. Goth boy pulling up in a minivan. Goth girl in the club pulling on my hand. You know, it just kind of sounds two dimensional. So when we add these reverbs back. Goth boy pulling up in a minivan. Goth boy pulling up in a minivan. Goth girl in the club pulling on my hand. So yeah, there we go. Uh, wow, wow, wow. So yeah, it's really important to, you know, Always make sure that your reverb is not overpowering the song. Um, as well as just, you know, this in essence, you know, using this is almost the same as sending it to the reverb. So you don't want to have this on full because it just sounds silly. So, boy pulling up in so whatever method you use, um, just make sure that it, it's not, you still have most of the dry signal coming out of the speakers on top of the wet signal, if that makes any sense. So that's really reverb. I will have to do a full video on reverb sends, etc. And yeah, so let's do the saturation body. I think that'll be a really interesting thing to talk about. So really what I'm doing here is I want extra bite in the vocals, especially in the top end, so the articulation sounds good. So as you can see here, I'm saturating it and then EQing it. You can do this either way. You can find your favorite saturator. You can use the um, Blood Overdrive from Fruity Loops. This is a free plugin, as I said in the previous video. And yeah, I'll just boost it in and you can hear. So we are sending 100% to that and then just dropping the level. So let's boost it and see what it sounds like. And let's just mute everything else. Goth boy pulling up in a minivan. Goth girl in the club pulling on my hand. Say that you love me so you So really it's almost like we, you know, having a guitarist play our vocal, if that makes any sense. Really we're just distorting our vocal, giving it a bit more grit and body so it's floating on top of the beat better. Um, and yeah, that's really it in terms of saturation. I recommend playing around, you know, if you needed more body in your vocal, you could go ahead and do something like this. Goth boy pulling up in a minivan. Goth girl in the club pulling on my But you know, for the stylus song, it suits to boost the treble as long as you're not, you know, creating a nasty sounding recording. And the most important thing is to record your vocals good so they sound good when you want to add effects to them. Um, and yeah, the last thing we'll be doing is the slap delay. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a um, slap delay uh, an actual delay plugin but i would definitely just recommend downloading this this sounds great 
as it is and this is the martin eastwood audio um duet you know this is completely free go find this at uh, vst whatever.com and it's got a little you know they got double take effects basic doublers but they do have the vocal wide and the slap back i would definitely recommend using those and you know oh actually this is this is a, a delay plugin all we're doing is we you know so this is the left channel and this is the right channel in a way um actually to make it even cooler let's pan these left and right Goth boy pulling up in a minivan Goth girl in the club pulling on my hand Say that you love me so you don't Okay, I don't like it now. I am stuck, so... Hmm... Why is it not going back to um, 100? Okay, whatever. I hope I haven't done something wrong. <laughs> it's fine. But yeah, so pretty much... um. You know we delay the original signal so obviously we're sending our main vocal to the slapback and what we do is we delay it between let's just say 60 milliseconds and 120 let's just say for a true slapback effect and what that does is it creates a kind of um if we just get rid of that and then only have this um going so that's goth boy pulling up in a minivan goth girl in the club pulling on my hand say that you love um and then get back to where we were Really what that does is it creates a kind of, you know, I'm using a bit of that on my vocal. I always quite like that it adds a little bit of, um, it's like almost like a delayed reverb, but not really a reverb, you know what I mean? And yeah, definitely, as I said, this is a whole video's worth of topic, but I'm just really opening the doors for you to start using um, aux sends or, um, you know, effects buses, whatever you want to call them to complement your vocals. So they're in parallel with the dry vocal and then you've got the wet. You don't want it completely wet, otherwise it just sounds drowned out. So yeah. That is really it. There's some guy riding a motorbike outside. I'ma hit him with the pole! Because he's got a hardy, he'll probably kill me. So <laughs> it is your boy Fry. Signing out um, for video three for the week. I'll be out for the week. So if you want to send me anything, send it to me on Monday the 30th. Um, it's kind of irrelevant because this video is going to be on YouTube forever. And uh, I think it's kind of silly to put, um, you know, dates and stuff in videos. Um, anyway, it is your boy Fry. Hope you have a great week. Hope you learned something um, with this kind of series this week and purchase this template. You know, it's a great sounding template. As I say, rest in peace, little peep. And um, yeah, shout out Trippy Red. Peace.